Vernal poos can often be located in March and early April by listening for the duck-like calls of the wood frog. During most of the winter, these frogs laid frozen beneath the leaf litter on the forest floor. They are able to freeze solid and survive due to the presence of glycerin, a natural antifreeze, in their cells. You can easily identify these frogs by the raccoon-like mass they sport around each eye. The surface of the water is often littered with the bobbing bodies of these frogs and their egg masses. Unattached males float about, ready to swim towards any movement, even a stick, in the hopes of finding a mate. When a couple does pair up, the male frog holds the female during breeding in what is termed implexus. This is where the male secures its front legs just behind and under the female's front legs while on her back. For some couples, it's a learning curve. Male and female wood frogs are easily distinguished from one another for the female is much lighter, almost pinkish in color. There is no internal fertilization with frogs. As the females extrude her eggs, the males release their sperm to fertilize them. Their egg masses resemble clear jello molds with whole peppercorns scattered throughout. The eggs are attached to sticks and branches that float along the surface of the water. Paired frogs add to the size of these communal masses as they continue to deposit and fertilize their eggs along its edges. The drive to breed is strong. Here, two males hold fast to the drowned body of a female. In their fight to breed with her, the males have prevented her from reaching the surface to breathe. Even when lifted from the water, the males continue to hold fast to the dead female. There is no clear start or finish to this ritual. It seems to be over as quickly as it began. If you blinked, you probably missed it. The only wood frogs remaining are a few disgruntled males left out of the gene pool for this season. The eggs left behind will hatch in around three weeks depending on the temperature of the water. Once the eggs hatch, the tadpoles will begin a race to reach young adulthood before their natal poos dry up. The adult wood frogs have retreated back to the leaf litter of the forest floor where they will spend the rest of the year feeding on insects and other invertebrates. They will not return till next year to breed again. It is March and the first of our native frogs have bred.